welcome to our online classes. Subject, government. Topic, colonial administration. Subtopic, indirect rule. Features of indirect direct rule. Reasons for adopting indirect rule. My name is Mr. John. Learning objective, by the end of this lesson, you are expected to be able to define indirect role, identify the features of indirect role. Three, explain the reasons for adopting indirect role. Definition of indirect role. Definitions of indirect role. Indirect role is defined as a British system of ruling her colony with the uses of local chiefs. Why the British officials were toward advice, guide, and where necessary enforce our colonial world policies. Now when we talk about indirect rule, you discover that when the British people came, they met what, a, 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 they met administration on ground, which is the traditional administration. And when they look at it, the only good way they can do was to, to adopt what was already on ground. So they started making use of what our local chiefs. Like in our last lesson, I told you that, that uh, our Southland has a very modernized system of what administration, very organized one. So they decided to make use of it. And that is what we refer to as what indirect rule. We want to look at what features of indirect rule. Features. Indirect rule use the existing tradition, tradition, traditional system of administration. They make use of what? The existing traditional system of administration. Like I told you that before they came, our Southland in particular, they, were, they have an organized system of administration. And immediately the British came, they make use of what? Of the system they met on ground. Then number two, it recognized the status of what traditional rulers. They make use of them. They recognize their position. You know, there are some people that there are some form of government that they neglected what traditional rulers. But when they came, they make use of what this, the status, their position, where what maintained. Then, number three, traditional laws and customs were used in the administration. All the do and don't traditionally were used. They couldn't change the, the law, the constitution, the customs of the people. They could not change it. They were making use of them in governing them or in ruling them. Then we have the native authority system was also what used. Like I told you when, when, uh, before you left, that in our Southland administration, they have an organized system. They have a way of ruling themselves. That native way of administration was what our native authority was what the British make use of. They couldn't change anything. And they also, make, uh, number five, traditional rulers serve as the uh, pivot of what indirect rule. They were the beginning. They were the one carry out what the indirect rule in the British uh, government. Why do they use indirect rule? Reasons for adopting indirect rules. There are several reasons, but I will just give you seven reasons why they adopted uh, indirect rule. Number one, language difficulty. During that time, there was a lot of difficulty. A lot of people couldn't speak English as then. And the British could not speak Hausa. And they could not speak what uh, uh, Fulanese. Neither could they speak our uh, local language. So what they'll do is to make use of few people that can be able to speak the language in 
what ruling their colony. Then number two, lack of knowledge of the area. You know, as strangers, there's no way a stranger can be able to what to know the uh, area that is not familiar with. They are not familiar with some areas in Nigeria. And because of that, the only way they can do it is to make use of people that are on ground, people that uh, are used to the, to the areas. Then, vast areas involved. Nigeria, you can agree with me, is large, isn't it? Nigeria is large. And because the area they're supposed to cover is what? Is large, is vast. So the only way to be able to cover it was to make use of what? The traditional rulers. And they were only supervising them, guiding them on what to do. Then it is what? Economically cheap. You know? What we mean by that is that, you know, it may be very, very expensive for the British to what? To bring people from uh, Britain to come what? And supervise the people here. How many of them would they bring? Nigeria is a large country, as you know. And it is what cheaper to what? To make use of what is on ground already. Then port transportation and communication world system. You know, that time there was no road, you know, railway, very few of them. And they find it very hard to travel to every uh, part of the country. They cannot be able to do it. Rather, they just stay within the city and then uh, try to administer the rest of the, of the area. And there was nothing like phone as it is now. So they find it very hard to communicate. Then we have inadequate world fund no money you know since the british government is not ready to what to send them money so well, they make use of what they have because of inadequate fund they have to make use of the only personnel that are on ground then we also have a uh, lack of personnel lack of personnel just like what i told you only few white were here when uh, Lord Olugat came. He couldn't uh, come with many people. He came with few. And these were the ones assisting him in what? In uh, ruling uh, their colony. Summary. Indirect rule is defined as what? A British system of ruling her colony with the use of what? Local chiefs. Indirect rule used the existing what? Tradi uh, traditional system of administration. It recognized the status quo of what? Of traditional rulers. Assignment. Define indirect rule. Identify two features of indirect rule. Explain two reasons for adopting indirect rule. Thank you very much.